What is up guys? So good to have you in the studio today. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. We're talking about the number one thing to succeed in business. Whether you're selling pottery or you're selling coffee or you're selling insurance or anything. If you have your own business, if you want to be an entrepreneur, this is the number one thing. I know that's kind of a clickbaity title, but I'm dead serious. I have like the key or a key. You know, there's a lot of different things in business that are important, but this is gonna be one of the best things and it's especially important right now amongst the economy that we're in and all the stuff that's going on. So, first thing I wanna tell you guys about is that we have a sale going on. All these pots, look at all the pots. Like a hundred and some pots going up for sale May 11th, 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you guys wanna buy any pots, then that's going up tonight. So I think I had this idea for this video a few months ago, or even like a year ago, about like the five keys to business. And then the final one would be like the one that I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna explain to you why this is so important, especially right now, is to have multiple income streams. What I mean by that is, I can explain this in a lot of different ways, okay? So there's basically three categories of my business, how I think about myself as an entrepreneur, right? I have what you guys see a lot of is production and sale of pottery. That's like one category, right? The second category, which has is pretty new, is the YouTube channel and the thing that the stuff that goes along with John the Potter, right? And then the third thing that I don't talk as much about, but you guys know about it a little bit, is the coffee shop. And so that was my original business that I bought when I was 21. I bought Moke Monkey, um, and we now have three different locations. And so that business is like kind of like, those are like the three main staples of what I'm talking about, okay? So that right there is a great example of how I, as an entrepreneur, have been able to diversify into those three different things. And then within those categories, the income streams are diversified even further. So, for example, the coffee shops, Mocha Monkey, we have three different locations. We have our original downtown location, we have our bank location, which is inside of a bank that has a drive-through, and then we have our St. Bonnie location, which is another town a few miles away. And the reason I bring this up is because when we had the original location in Waconia, we, were, we had the opportunity to open a second location in the same town. And people were like, why do you want another location like three miles away? Well, the original location is in a downtown district that's close to a lake, a lot of walking, pedestrians, it's by a movie theater. But the other location is on a highway and it has a drive-through. And so now in this coronavirus pandemic that we're in, our original downtown location has dropped the sales by about 80%, right? Which by its on its own, that would not have been good. If only, if I would have stuck with just that one store, we would have gone bankrupt. We, we can't take 80% down on one store. Flip that to our drive-through location, and that location has actually increased in sales through this. So April was the busiest month that we've ever had at that location. So because we were able to diversify the income streams among Mocha Monkey, then we actually are able to weather the storm of this pandemic, right? Okay, so let's dive deeper into the YouTube channel category, right? So the YouTube channel gives a lot of different opportunities for multiple revenue streams. AdSense, like when you guys see ads, I get a little money from that. Sponsorships for each video is worth a certain amount to a sponsor. You guys have seen me do sponsor videos. Amazon affiliate links. So all those links down below in the description of videos, if you go to those, then I make like a little bit of money. So that's another revenue stream. Patreon is another way for that people can support me. And I thank you guys all so much to all the patrons on Patreon and they get special gifts and treatment and stuff. And merch too. So we have JTP like merch, you can go to a Link in the description, there's Teespring and you can get t-shirts or whatever and I get a little money from that. So there's five different revenue streams. When this pandemic hit, right, the YouTube AdSense has gone down like probably 50% or more. So what we were normally making through AdSense, which is anywhere from like a thousand to $2,000 a month, has dropped like in less than half because people aren't looking to market. Not because we're not getting views anymore, but because companies aren't looking to spend on marketing right now. But the Patreon like has stayed the same because we have maintained the same level of people that are willing to support me. 
Um, and so that having those multiple revenue streams, they didn't all get cut in half. So that's like the YouTube, how we kind of diversify the income on our online business. And then the third thing is the pottery sales and the art sales. So if you're, if an artist looking to sell, if you're an artist that like mainly your 90% of your income or hundred percent of your income comes from doing art shows. Well, right now you are really, really nervous because a lot of art shows are getting canceled or postponed and you don't really know when that's gonna come back. So I did a video a long time ago on like the five ways to make art or to sell art, right? You can go online, you can do it through retail, you can do it through galleries, you can do it through art shows. Um, and then I think there was one more, but I can't remember it right now. Anyway, go check out that video if you wanna see. Um, but for me, you know, I've tried to do kind of everything. So we've sold forever in our coffee shops and that's kind of the retail aspect. We recently started selling at a gallery, which right now is completely shut down. So we had a little bit of income coming in from galleries and now we have no income from that. We have sold at art shows before and that's never been a huge part of our income, but right now, if that would have been, that would have gone to zero too. But our online sales have increased. Like we've been able to sell more in the last six weeks online than we were able to before. And the main source of uh, selling pottery for my last 10 years has been the original downtown location of Mocha Monkey, the coffee shop. But right now that's super, super slow too. So because we were able to like look at each of those different revenue streams on the art side, on the pottery side, we were able to like twist things around and say, okay, we're not going to sell as much at Mocha Monkey this month, we're gonna look at selling more online because we have that revenue stream set up, right? So the, the people that are really, really suffering and not doing well in business right now are the people that have all their eggs in one basket. So if you're a, like a really fancy restaurant and you don't really do takeout very much, but you do that one thing really, really well, that will work out great until something happens like this coronavirus pandemic, which takes your in-store dining down 90% and then all of a sudden you're scrambling to figure out what are we gonna do? And so that's like the biggest, biggest reason why I think that multiple revenue streams are so key because it, it lowers your risk by so, so much. Like if all I would have done, you know, 10 years ago was just stick with my one original downtown location, that is awesome, I love it and people love it and we have great customers but we're down 75% in the last month because of something that's completely outside of our control. And so I'm really, really thankful and happy that I have been able to, over the past 10 years, branch out to do like our drive through locations, which have been doing really well. And then also to go online and start selling pottery online. And so I just think that multiple revenue streams are one way to like minimize your risk to almost zero. And then you can pick and choose. You have opportunity then. You have ways to think about business in a different way, like where to go moving forward. I would encourage you guys to think about your businesses as not only what, what's working right now, but what you might wanna see in the future. What, like, what could happen that would maybe take this down? Where can you add different revenue streams? And as the coronavirus has hit, some of them have gone down like crazy. Some of them have gone up a little bit. Um, but I'm confident that there's not a lot of things that would happen that could make all of those go to zero, right? We're diversified enough into different little areas. Whatever market conditions come along, um, whatever customer habits start changing, if the world starts changing, like we're able to look at those different revenue streams differently and grow them however we can in the future. All right, that is some serious rambling. Did I miss anything? You guys gotta check out this Etsy restock. Uh, I got, I have some bowls for the first time. I'm doing some nice little soup cereal, ice cream bowls, whatever you think, which are, they turned out really, really nicely. Uh, and we got a full kiln that's not even, I haven't even seen it yet, but it's a slow cool kiln, which are, uh, those results are really cool. Thanks to all the patrons on Patreon. I love you guys so much. Patrons get access to they get a little pre-sale of all this stuff. So this stuff will go live on Monday, March 11th at 6 p.m. for everybody watching. But the patrons get to like pick what and choose what they want. Uh, and then we often do little sales and coupons for them too. So like the next day or a couple days after the Etsy's been up, then we'll give them like 20 or 30 or 40% off. Uh, and then we send out pots to patrons every month. So four, four of the patrons that support us get pots every single month. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much to all the patrons. It means so 
much. To me, it keeps me going, keeps me thinking about what videos are coming next, like what can I make that are gonna really, you know, they're just the people that are like fully invested into the John the Potter universe. I probably missed some things in this video, so I'd love to hear from you, comment below. What do you think of this? What do you, what do you think of my, my one key to being successful in business? I think that it's more true now than it has ever been before when you see how disrupt, like when things are going along nicely and you're, you're, all your revenue streams are doing well, like everything's kind of growing a little bit and you're like, oh yeah, look at all this, this is doing really well. Well then all of a sudden something happens like a market crash or a pandemic or, you know, things happen all over. It doesn't have to be like a global crisis, but there's crises that happen all over the place in certain businesses. Um, when you have, when you're set up to absorb those and not only like be focused on one of those, you're just better set up for everything. Man, I, I rambled. I hope my microphone's on for this whole thing. What do you think of this beard? You like it? How about now? Is that better? How about that? How about just the stash? How's that look? Hmm? It's so weird to not have a beard. I think I, I think I like it better with the beard. As always, smash that like button. Cha-ching! Really helps. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, all the share, all the things, all the shares, all the whatevers. I got lots of videos coming. We're gonna do some big project videos coming up soon. It's gonna be very fun. I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I'm 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 very optimistic about the future. So, all right. See you guys in the next video. I love you. Shh.